you cannot put it into uh, words. Um, he is pure economic dollars at times. Um, well, I think we should focus on the off the court stuff. He brings the city life through businesses. He brings the city through energy and positivity. He brings a spotlight nationally. You came here all the way from India just to sit here and talk to me. The Cavs are the team. The, the organization is owned by Dan Gilbert, is a great owner for Quicken Loans. But really, LeBron's the face. He is the he is the king. I mean, he is the ruler of the Cavs. So he plays a major role, and because he's from Northeast Ohio, he burdens a lot of the understanding of what happens here, um, what's gone through. The city's doing great. The city's a wonderful place. It's very economical friendly, and a lot of that's because of LeBron James and the money he brings in. The city has life. The city feels good when we're winning. Um, it's weird to say that, but it's just true. And so LeBron shoulders that, and LeBron understands it. He's, again, it's hard to put into words how important he is. When his time is done 10 or 15 years from now, I think there's going to be a bigger understanding of that, even more than today. Because I think you're going to see statues, I think you're going to see streets, and he deserves all of it more. The decision is one of those... It's not... I always say this about the decision. It's not how... It's not that he left. It's not that uh, he chose to go to Miami. Because if you think about it, you understand when you see great players go to an organization, you look at Golden State, you want to go there to win championships. What hurt was how he did it. What hurt was he's from here. And what hurt, and he admitted so, he did not handle it well. Um, when CC Sabathia left for free agency, he was traded to the Brewers. When he got traded the very next day, he took out a, he took out a big ad in a plain dealer thanking the fans. That's why CC Sabathia is not hated when he pitches for the Yankees, because the way he left, we all embraced. When you leave and you do a television show, and your first line is, I'm taking my talents to South Beach, it stings. It stings, especially if you're from the area where the imagery is not South Beach. So um, that's why it hurt, and he's admitted so. Um, but again, all is forgiven. He won that championship, he admitted his mistake, um, and you know, actually, to me, I don't want to say for all Clevelanders, but to me, I thought that was a real moment for Dan Gilbert. So yeah, that's how you know it went down. And again, LeBron made some mistakes that night. I think he would admit so. But again, all is forgiven. It's weird when you say the decision now; it's so different um, than what it felt years ago. But yeah, we were we were angry. It was not it was not a good day. I was angry. I was alone in the basement. I did not want to talk to anybody. It was bad. But now, you know, years later, we win a championship. All is forgiven. We're good. It became a weird thing. I, uh, you know, Wright Thompson kind of talked about it. Um, it became a badge of honor losing. When I see other teams lose, I'm like, you haven't lost. Let me show you some losses. <laughs> Let me show you some real grinded out bowl stuff. So it became kind of a badge of honor. Um, it became our identity for a while, which is not, I hate to say it, I was a part of it. I was a part of it. I, I wore shirts, said to fumble the drive. You know, the decision, but we're still here and we still cheer. And that was, I was, I had that t-shirt. Um, I bought it. And I don't wear it anymore, but I, but I was a part of it. It just kind of became who we were. Um, that's why that championship in 16 can never be valued. Um, it's unvaluable. It's, that's how precious it is. So that's part played of it. But yeah, it was our, for better or worse, it was part of our brethren. It was part of our blood. <laughs>